Hello lovely people of the internet and welcome back to Panda Creates Tutorials. I'm Panda and I am very excited to be back to bring you another review and demonstration. Uh, this time it is for somebody that I have never featured before. So without further ado, I am going to be uh, introducing you to the Glitzy Chicks. The Glitzy Chicks have not been around for very long. They are a fairly new Australian craft supply company that specialize in glitter. Um, um, they are located in Adelaide Hills in South Australia and it is run by a lovely woman called Brooke. Uh, she is a mum uh, to human children but also to a menagerie of feathered friends. Uh, she does have a macaw which I am extremely jealous about because uh, I'm a huge bird nut. I, I, I freaking love birds right and my goal is eventually um, when the kid my kids are all grown up and have moved out of home um, and I don't have to look after human babies anymore. Uh, a macaw is on my bucket list but she also raises chickens and ducks and stuff like that. Uh, she recently got uh, two ducks in and she called them cheese and quackers and that will never not be funny for me because I'm a huge fan of puns. Um, my, my, I have a very dry sense of humor um, so that was right up my alley. Um, but she, as I said she does specialize in glitter and recently she does have um, like quite a collection uh, going now. But recently she's moved into doing sets. So if you're new to crafting or you're not very good at picking colors for projects and stuff like that, she's actually started creating sets um, of glitters that work really, really well together. So at the time of filming uh, this uh, demonstration for her, she has the Sand and Sea collection, which is what we're going to be doing in this video. She's also released a Rainbow Brights collection, which was all really pretty metallic neons. Um, and most recently, she released a Beach Sunset. So it's got, um, from memory, the blue, the pink, the yellow, the orange, like, um, to make the sunset cups. Okay, but this was her very first collection. Um, she did reach out to me and ask me if I would be interested in doing a video for her and I already had my eye on her so of course I jumped on board. Um, as soon as this set was released um, I did purchase it um, and she sent it out to me and now the rest is history. So obviously I'm going to be doing a beach tutorial for you guys in this video but um, I will be checking out her glitters. Uh, and giving my honest opinions on her glitters as well. But just looking at them in the bag, um, I'm very, very excited. We have the three here that are holographics, and this one is a metallic, but they are really, really pretty colors. So let's start with the water because that's closest to me. We Actually, no, let's start with the sand. We'll go bottom to top for the cup, okay? So the first one, I'm going to turn my light off now, is talk to the sand. I'm going to show you what it looks like in the bag. It's a really pretty champagne gold metallic. Okay. And it is not a super fine glitter. Um, but it's not a one mil cut either. Okay, so before like all of your ultra fines came out, if you've been around crafting for that long, it is the same size as the original fine glitters that we were getting um before everybody started doing different cuts and different sizes and stuff so that is please focus thank you so much that is talk to the sand the next one up is a holographic called life's a beach okay so that's going to be our next color up um i am going to sneak a white wash color in between these two as well um but I'll get into that when we start. Um, I just wanted to do the intro, but you can see in the bag, right, it is a hollow. Um, this one, I'm actually really excited. I know I'm, I'm doing a beach cut, but I've already got um, Tacket plans for this one. The next one along is Beach Please. Okay. And that is a hollow as well. But you'll see as we line them up, they do get a progressively darker shade. And then the blue, which is what I held up at the beginning, is Seize the Day. See? It's punny. 
seize the day. I love it. But that is our very, very pretty blue. Okay. And the four together make up the beach collection. Okay. Uh, so I probably should have researched. I don't remember how much I paid. I think it was $30 plus postage but let me double check that and I will put it down the bottom of um, this video when I go to edit but I'm pretty sure it was $30 plus postage for all four glitters they are 50 grams each uh, 50 grams from memory works out to be about 1.7 ounces <coughs> so that is the set that we're going to be using in this demonstration we're going to be doing a uh, beach tutorial on a 12 ounce stemless wine Okay, so as I said, we're going to be doing this demonstration on a 12 ounce stemless wine um, tumbler. Uh, I've already prepped my cup. Uh, the way that I prep my cup is that I give them a really good sanding. They're stainless steel, not powder coated. I give them a really good sanding. Uh, I wash them, I wait for them to dry, and then I spray and wipe them down with alcohol before spray painting my base. Uh, I used Australian Export Spray Paint in matte white on this project, and we're going to be doing our beach uh, using the hang method. Uh, now, the hang method uh, if you are new to tumbler making is basically where you put a really super super thin coat of epoxy on your cup to glitter with uh, it's used as an adhesive rather than something to seal the glitter into um, but it's called the hang method because the layer is so thin that you can actually hang the cup up on your cup stand um, afterwards it doesn't need to be turning okay so I have mixed up five mils of um, amazing clear cast plus which will probably be a little bit too much um, but that is two and a half mils of part a and two and a half mils of part b and i've just applied it to the bottom there now that it's all over the bottom i'm going to pull up and around okay so like i said the tiniest tiniest little bit okay we don't want it running or dripping um the hang method is really handy. I mean, I'm, I mixed up the epoxy for this project. Um, but the hang, doing the hang method comes in handy, um, especially if you're working on multiple projects at once. Say you've just done um, a final coat on a drink bottle or something like that. Something where you've got a little bit of resin left, but it's not quite enough to um, pour into a mold for like leftovers or something like that that's where the hang method comes in you can so you're not wasting that tiny little bit that's left um, you can use it as a base adhesive as I am doing in this project now right so I've still got all of that left out of five mils I reckon I've got three and a half four mils left um, you don't need much at all okay but you are always pulling um, you'll feel the slip with your glove right where there's epoxy the glove will slide where there is no epoxy the glove is going to catch and that's where you know you need to apply more so i'm just going right around the cup running my hand right across the bottom and all the way up to that top edge making sure that i have full coverage before we move on to our next step and that should be about right okay so and I still have if I hold it this way all of that left see so that's why it's good to do the hang method with any anything that's left over okay so I always work I'm going to move you up just a little bit so I don't go out of frame too much I always work bottom to top with my beaches so we're going to start with talk to the sand okay I'm going to do the butt of my cup first make sure that that's all covered like so um, and then I'm going to go up and create our sand
Okay. You don't want your lines super, super even for a beach cup. Um, but if your ombre needs practice, um, I do suggest doing beach cups um, while you build up your blending skills. Um, otherwise, if you don't do beach cups, if you want to practice your ombres, um, get some really cheap, like 75 cent Kmart glasses, spray paint a bunch of them up um and practice on them but i would definitely recommend doing shades that are similar so like don't do say a, a fluoro yellow um and a hot pink right because they are so different that they're going to take a lot of work to get that blend line um, I do recommend picking colors that are close together while you practice. Um, otherwise, beach cups are perfect to practice your ombre with because if you do manage to stuff it up or your blend lines aren't that pretty, um, one of the final steps that we're going to do um, with our beach cup is add our waves, which is a different coat altogether, right? Um, and any spaces that don't look too fantastic, you can just cover up with waves nobody will know okay so beaches and sunsets even um, are a little bit tricky um, she's just released a sunset kit um, getting your blend lines um, for like that blue to yellow to orange um, to like the corally ready color um, can be a little bit tricky so I do recommend starting with the easy stuff if you're new to this and working your way up okay so now that we've got our talk to the sand on and if you have a look it is a very pretty please focus there we go it is a very pretty champagne gold metallic i'm gonna go in with my white wash okay uh now this isn't one of the glitzy chicks glitters this is a white that i use for all of um my beaches now uh it is a pearl so it's not super sparkly, but that's why I like it, because then it doesn't get in the way of the rest of the glitter that's on the cup. Uh, it is called Pearly Gates number 111. It's not actually an Australian glitter. It is from Pink and Purple Monkey over in Texas. Uh, anybody that's been following along for long enough knows that before I started doing tutorials for Australians, I was going live um, a few times a week at one stage um, for Pink and Purple Monkey over in America uh, before COVID hit. And destroyed everything including the postage costs but I do have some of her glitters so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get this to focus but you can see I just have the tiniest little whitewash line around there before we start our blue okay. Now with the beach cup, obviously you want to work from lightest to darkest um, as you go out into the ocean, so to speak. Um, so keeping that in mind, we're going to start with life's a beach. Um, and what you have left, the space that you have left, you kind of want to split it into thirds as best as you possibly can. Okay. So we've still got the three blues to put on. I'm going to do my best to split it in two thirds. Um, but like I said, it's not going to matter. I mean, the ocean isn't perfect, right? Um, so it's not going to matter if I go a little bit over. But I'm going to go right around whoops, my wash line first. Okay, and now from here, I'm just going to bring it up a little bit, but I'm going to hold it from a further distance away so that I start to get, if I can get it to focus, see how I'm starting to get that splutter up, okay? So the higher away that you hold the glitter, the more, um, I call it a splatter. I can't think of a better name. Uh, the more splatter you're going to get, and that's what's going to help, really, really help you, um, with your blend lines as we add the other colors in. Okay, give it a little tap. And put 
put this one away. So that one was Life's a Beach. And the next one we're going in with is a Beach Please. we don't get any cross contamination okay so we're going a little bit darker again and again I'm going to start closer to where my last color was bring it up didn't do me thirds but that's okay okay see and I've done if it, I can get it to focus again and in frame would help nope not gonna do it Please. There we go. I've got my spattering to go up into the final color, which is Seize the Day. S E A S, Seize the Day. And that's going to be what finishes off our beach. Looking at the cup. I think we are going to have to do a second coat of the blues. Um, being hollows, I can see, I'm not sure if I'll pick it up on camera, but I am seeing a little bit of white under the blues um, and I want them to be really, really solid. Um, there's no issue with the gold, there's no issue with the pearly white. Um, but because the blues are a holographic and they are a slightly smaller cut um, than the gold, I think I'm going to need two coats. Okay, so once this dries tomorrow, I'll show you how to add a second coat to your beaches. But we're going to go in now with Seize the Day and just cover up everything that we haven't already. Let me pack this up and then I will show you. We'll give it a good tap. Um, the reason why I haven't given it a good tap yet is because I don't want to cross contaminate before it all goes back in its own containers. But now that's all done, I'm going to give it a good tap for excess. See? So I've got all of the colours there. Can you imagine if I'd tapped, tapped, tapped and gotten like the dark blue or the gold in the dark blue or something like that. Okay, so that is where we are at with our beach. I've got a bald spot. That's why, because I keep hitting you guys. Keep hitting my microphone. I've ordered in some new equipment to make my life a little bit easier while I'm filming so I won't be so elbows glued to me sides when it all comes in I'll have a bit more room to move but that is where we're at for our beaches so as I said um, we are going to need a second coat of the blues so to make it all even I'm just going to go in and do a second coat on the whole lot um, and I will show you how to do that. I prefer to use Mod Podge 
uh, when I'm doing my second coat for my beaches. So I'm going to let this cure overnight because remembering we still have um, epoxy underneath this glitter because uh, we did the hang method. So I'm going to hang it up on my stand. I'm going to wait uh, for the rest of the night. Come back tomorrow once it's cured. Um, I will show you guys how to add a second coat on a beach if you do need to because um, that's handy to know. Um, and then after that we can proceed forward. But that is what we've got after one coat of the Glitzy Chicks Sea and Sand collection. Okay guys, so she is all cured and please focus. There we go. She is all cured and ready for our second coat. Now as I mentioned, the gold and the white don't really need a second coat, um, but the blues do. Um, but I do want to mention that has nothing to do with um, the quality of the glitter. I am actually really, really impressed um, with the quality of the Glitzy Chicks glitters. Um, a lot of times, especially if they're brand new uh, to supplying, it can be a little bit hit and miss sometimes. Um, so yeah, I am, it, it's, it's top shelf. But whereas metallics and pearls, you can usually get away with um, one coat. Um, Iridescence and holographics, and remembering that our three blues are a hollow, especially in a fine glitter, nine and a half times out of ten, you're probably going to need a second coat. Um, if uh, you get to a second coat and you realize it needs a third coat, that's probably when you're having coverage issues and the quality of your glitter isn't so great okay um this if if i didn't want to be picky i could probably get away with this okay mm -hmm. but up close i can see there are some sections where the white still shows up from underneath and i want that really solid pretty um blue to teal shift coming through my beach which is why we're going to go through and do a second coat again but it doesn't have anything to do with the quality of glitter i just wanted to clarify that up front um i am so far so good i am really really impressed with her stuff um but yeah it's it's just the different types of glitter um to the point where um if i was doing a whole cup with a metallic glitter i wouldn't i mean i i do anyway i do base coat like spray paint coat all of my cups and tumblers um but if you're using metallics you can put that straight onto the stainless steel so after you've prepped and sanded back and everything um you can actually put your metallic glitter straight over that stainless steel base and you'll still only need one coat okay so it's got nothing to do with the quality of the glitter it's just the type of glitter uh <coughs> excuse me especially fine glitters are notorious for needing more than one coat okay so i'm going to go in with my dishwasher safe mod podge you can use any mod podge that you like i just prefer to use um either the dishwasher safe or the gloss yeah i got stringies oh, so gross i hate when it does that it's like Mod Podge boogers. It's gross. Ugh. Charming. We're off to a strong start this morning. Okay. <laughs> all clean. Almost. Almost all clean. Okay, now we're good. Okay, so I'm going to do it section by section. Um, so we're going to do the gold and the white first. I'm going to put the Mod Podge on for them first. And then I'm going to do... All, or put the Mod Podge on all the blues and try and get it to blend that way. Okay, so going in, making sure that my brush isn't stiff. Okay. And I just want to put my Mod Podge, a nice, even, thick coat, straight over the top of the glitter. Thank you. 
Okay, so I've got my Mod Podge on. I'm going to do my white first. And I'm trying my very best to follow the lines that are already there. But I'm also not going to lose any sleep if I go outside the lines a little bit. Okay, I'm just starting with the white first so that all that white sticks to the Mod Podge so that when I go in and do my gold, um, because out of the two my gold is the darker colour. Okay. When you're doing bursts and stuff like that, it's better to go dark to light. When you're doing second coats, though, it's better to go light to dark. Okay, so I'm going to put my white away. And go in with my talk to the sand. Make sure you do your butt first. Okay, and that is our second coat of the white and the gold. Okay, so I'm now going to go ahead and do exactly the same thing with the blue. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to put Mod Podge over the whole blue section. Um, you will still be able to see where the three colours are under the Mod Podge. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, put Mod Podge all over that bit and then do the second coat on the blue. Um, but for time's sake, I think I'm just going to speed this bit up. Okay, so we have our Mod Podge on. Um, I don't think I can get it to show up on camera, but to the naked eye, I can see that my first colour comes up to about here, my second colour comes up to here, and then my third colour comes up to here, okay? So, I'm just going to show you whoops, how to do a second coat with this Life's a Beach. And then we're just going to speed up the rest of the process. Okay, so we're going to go in exactly the same way as what we did with the first coat. We're going to start off low. As we go around. Okay, and then as we come up to that blend line... I'm going to hold it up a little bit higher and sprinkle from a distance. That's what's going to give me that really nice blend that we had with the first coat. Like so. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the other two colours, but I'm going to speed up the process.
Okay, <coughs> so that is what we are now left with after our first, uh, after our second coat. Sorry. Okay, so as we did with our first, now that all my glitter's tucked away, I'm going to give that a really good tap, tap, tap. Get any excess glitter off it. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to leave this for about two hours just to let the Mod Podge underneath dry. Once it is dry, I'm going to give it two um, coats of spray seal. At the moment, I'm using Rust-Oleum two times in uh, clear in the satin. Sorry, you can get it from Bunnings. Okay, uh, I prefer to use Rust-Oleum. I know that there is an Australian export um, version uh, that's clear um, that is uh, cheaper. Um, but in my experience, I used that when I first started and I found that it yellowed really, really quickly. Um, so I do, especially on white cups or using it on water slides. So I tend to avoid that one now. Um, Rust-Oleum uh, has never given me any problems. Um, also, when uh, the world went to shit um, and everybody was having trouble getting supplies, I found that the Krylon Crystal... Uh, that you can get from Spotlight does the job as well. So once this has been spray sealed, because we don't want any of the glitters moving into each other, um, once this is spray sealed, I'll be back and ready to do the first coat of epoxy, and then after that we can add the waves. All right, guys, so our cup is dry. I have done my two coats of spray seal, um, and now we're going to put the first coat on, which is also the coat that we do our waves in. So um, I have mixed up uh, 20 mils of Amazing Clear Cast Plus. That's 10 mils of part A, 10 mils of part B. Okay. Um, I'm also, to make my waves, I'm going to be using this. Now, at time of filming, it is called Ocean Cell White from LBB Resin. Okay. But at the time of filming, it's not yet released. Um, I actually spoke to Jo this evening. Um, she sent this to me a little while back uh, to test out before they released it as a product um, to test how it went with waves, how it made cells. Um, when you're doing the big uh, cheese boards and clocks and stuff like that, this will be really, really, really good for it and you'll see why. Um, I'm, I have only ever done one beach cup with it uh, so far. So, And the effect that I had on that um, was better than anything that I've ever managed to get with alcohol inks. So I'm excited to show you that. At the time of filming, it's not yet released yet, but Joe assures me that uh, when this goes up, I'm hoping to have this up on, say, maybe the 17th or the 18th of May. So a little bit from now. Um, a couple of days, okay? So around the 17th or the 18th of May, um, I'm hoping to have the video uploaded by the 16th or the 17th. So when uh, the video does go, go up, check the description. If the description uh, where I list all of the products, if it still says coming soon, wait a couple of days and then come back and have a look. And there should be a link there that you can purchase this with. Okay, so this was my sample. I got a little sneaky peek uh, in advance because there's there's got to be some perks to what I do, right? <laughs> but I've tested this out and I want to show you guys because I know that it is excuse me it is coming out soon so first things first we want to put most of our resin that we've got of our 20 mils we want to put that on the cup so that we've got a coat first and then we're going to go in and add our waves okay hi guys a quick safety disclaimer for when working with resin please make sure you always protect yourself by wearing eye goggles or other protective eyewear a half face respirator mask with interchangeable filters. I got mine from Bunnings and they also sell the replacement filters. And of course, gloves. Now I prefer to work with nitrile gloves, but in a pinch, vinyl gloves will also work. These are the two types that will not tear easily when working with resin. Please make sure you stay safe while you're having fun and happy creating. Okay guys, I actually forgot to warn you that that safety disclaimer was coming in. I'm sorry, I forgot to announce it. Um, I actually went to start filming this bit and I was like, oh, whoops. So instead of breaking this part up, I just throw it in at the end of that last bit um, when I was explaining uh, what we're going to do with our resin. So now that you're all 
educated in the correct PPE to wear when doing resin art. We're going to continue. Okay. So as I said, 20 mils. Um, I'm going to use the first bit of it up by putting a nice even coat over our glitter. And as I said, this has already gotten two coats of um, spray seal. Okay. So our glitter is not going to move around. We're not going to lose our nice whitewash. Nothing like that. Okay. Okay, that looks like it's fully covered. So what's left? About half of it. I'm just going to add to the cup just to give us a little bit more to work with. When the waves go on. Okay. So now I'm going to hit it with my heat gun just to warm it up a little bit but not so much that it's dripping off the cup because we do want those waves to move when we put them on. Okay guys, so now that we've got our clear resin on, it's time to add our waves, but I'm just going to let this spin for another minute or two just to get that resin to level itself out and give us a nice even coat. Um, so I'm going to cut that part out of the video and I will be back very shortly to show you how to apply your waves. Alrighty guys, so with the little bit of resin that I have left, and I reckon there's about two and a half, three-ish mils left of that 20 mils, okay? We're going to go in with our Ocean Cell White, which is here. I'm going to turn that off. This doesn't make a difference. It is a paste, okay? We're going to add a little bit into my resin and give it a good mix. Move that out of the way so I don't knock it over. Okay, so now to apply your waves, uh, the best way to do it 
is with a coffee stirrer or with a silicon brush um, a toothpick works even something that's you know this ish right because we're gonna be swiping okay um, Yeah, it'll work if it's turning that way. Let's... It's a little bit noisier. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go. So, I'm going to put some on. And then I'm going to swipe it in. Okay. At the moment, I'm just drawing lines. Um, if you have a more steady hand than I do, you can hold it over and drag it across. Um, I just find I have a lot more control doing it this way. Okay, I'm also going to go and put... Um, around the line of our whitewash. we might have to see what I mean like there's still heaps left even with that tiny little two mils there's still heaps left okay so don't freak out if there's only a tiny little bit left it'll be plenty uh, just don't add too much um, of your pigment paste or you can do this with alcohol ink um, for a very long time I was using uh, the pinata blanco alcohol ink uh, whoa to make my waves oh my god I hate it when that happens that's why half of my things, my connection things, are duct taped to the pole. You know when it's getting loose and then the, it falls out of the bit that twists on? Oh, I hate it when that happens. And it always makes me shit my pants. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> we should be right. Hang on. Before we start hitting it with heat, I'm just making sure that no real damage was done. I mean... We've now got waves underneath, but yeah, look, here comes the splat. That's the splat. Okay, let's try that again, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? I'm sorry if that was really loud in your headphones. <laughs> I wasn't planning on that to happen. Okay, so we want to hit it with heat, and as I'm warming it up, I'm pushing up the cup. We don't want any waves on our sand. We want our waves to go out, Okay. Just gonna turn it down a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going until I get the look that I want. I'm trying to just space out these thicker bits a little bit so that they're not as sorry guys it's it's hard to talk <laughs> because I'm using heat I've got my mask on but to talk to you guys so I've got to keep lifting up my mask to talk to you and then put my mask back and it's getting a bit much it's getting a little bit complicated Okay, so you can see I'm starting to get some definition in my waves. Okay, I'm just going to let this turn for a little bit to see where we're at because that epoxy is now moving around the cup. Uh, the more heat that I hit it with, um, the more definition I could end up losing so that it ends up looking more like a milk bath 
than a beach cup so I'm just I think up around where my my dark blue is is going to need a little bit more attention but I'm liking how my middle bits are starting to form Alright, I think I'm going to go in one more time, guys. All right, I'm going to stop because it's starting to drip. And I don't want all my epoxy to slide off. But I think I'm happy with it, I think. I think I want to add, and I've got to wrap this up quickly, guys, because um, i got to get out of here. i got to get out of this room. Um, I can't sit here and breathe this in for too much longer. So I'm just going to add some bits in here and there. Just to put a little bit more on the top. Get a new glove. Just gonna rub that in so I don't have to use any more heat. And hope for the best. There we go. <laughs> gonna hope the best but I'm all right with that our whitewash came down um, our gold a little bit but not so much that it's ruined it I'm happy it didn't sell out as much as I would have liked it to though um, the last one I did I had like the proper like, you know what you get when you do the clocks and stuff? I had that going on. I'm just putting my ocean waves back where they belong, guys. Okay, there we go. So, that is it. So, I'm going to go. That's it for me for tonight. I'm going to let it do its thing and get out of this room. Um, <clears throat> and then we will be back tomorrow for final reviews and to put the decal on the vinyl on um, and then from there it's only going to need a final coat of epoxy and then it'll be ready um, but I'm not going to do the final coat in this video because it's not about the epoxy it's about the beautiful glitter so I will finish this off in the morning okay lovely ladies and gentlemen this is what we're left with isn't it stunning? I'm going to hold it up. Look at that. Please focus. Isn't that gorgeous? Right? It really does give the effect that the waves are sparkling at you. So, this is the design that I've chosen. Um, originally, I was going to go with your normal, like your white opal. Um, but I thought I'd use this instead because it's sunset colours and I thought it would look really nice over the ocean so that's what we're going to put on I need to find my scraper tool it's what we need I did choose this design because it made me giggle um, I went looking through I've got a beach 
quotes folder on my hard drive so I went looking through that and I found this it says shell yeah beaches um, and I thought you know because we have talked to the sand what else have we got I forgot seize the day beach please and um, talk to the sand I thought that that was a nice accompaniment to the names that she's already picked for her glitter so I think I'm gonna there's a lot of waves there so let's put it here, I reckon. Looks good. I'm going to do it bit by bit because it's a little bit wide um, so I'm gonna have to do one side and then the other side so that everything lays flat for me but there it is see it's like a sunset I think I think I made the right decision. Let me know in the comments if you think I made the right decision by choosing this sunset shift instead of your normal. Uh, do I have? No, I don't have any examples in my craft room at the moment. But you know the one I'm talking about, the the white opal that shifts um, in pastel colours. It shifts from like blue to like a really light mint green. The normal opal, right? So that is my finished beach cup using the glitzy chicks sea and sand collection okay so honest review time do i like it yeah i do <laughs> um i am actually really really impressed um and i hope brooke doesn't take this the wrong way so if you're watching brooke please don't take this the wrong way um but we have had a few glitter suppliers pop up in the past that did come out of nowhere um and they've it's like they found the cheapest dodgiest glitter that they possibly could find from a supplier to save money and have gone with that um so when brooke and the glitzy chicks came out of nowhere and started selling glitter um it, it, it was more of a case of hope for the best but be prepared for the worst kind of scenario so i wasn't actually sure what i was getting myself into um but i did let her know that if i uh, you know when she approached me and asked me to do a video um that when I bought the set and I do pay for all of my stuff that I do demonstrations on okay for in, for anybody wondering because I have had people talk about me behind my back and how I get free shit all the time I don't I pay for it um I did tell her that if I was going to do a video she'd get an honest review okay um but I, I, I was I was pleasantly surprised um the only thing that I have to say um, is that the Life's a Beach, I think, is the one that's a really fine cut. Um, yeah. I would love to see Life's a Beach because the hollow in this is phenomenal. This one here, the lighter one. If we could get that in a one millimeter cut, I would be so happy. I'd be so happy it'd be too big to use on like a beach cup right because you do have to use fine glitters for stuff like this um but I think that'd be absolutely stunning in a one mil fine um but the apart from that like I'm I'm chuffed guys look at that it's pretty so you've got the metallics down the bottom we did use the pearl here but now that it's covered with the white it doesn't really show anyway so we've got talk to the sand we've got life's a beach uh, in here we've got beach please and then we finished off with seize the day okay and that's what we ended up with I think she's done really really well with picking the colors for this set I think it complements it beautifully um, you definitely get that beach effect that three ombre look to get your ocean um, appeal is is great I think she's done really really well with her choice selection and if anybody asked me is it worth it I'd be telling them to go and get it um, I'm very very impressed with this set so Brooke two thumbs up from me um, I was very impressed um, the glitter quality is phenomenal uh, the color choices are excellent 
um, and yeah I have no issues at all recommending this set so thank you for joining me while I showed you all how to make a beach tumbler using the glitzy chicks sea and sand collection it has been my absolute honor to do this for you guys and I hope to see you next time bye <clears throat> okay <laughs>